The Synod is changing gears. After the Synod Fathers' speeches during the general congregations, the sessions will now be held in smaller groups, where the Fathers will be divided according to language. This allows for a first evaluation, and Cardinal Theodore Adrian Saar, one of the Synod's delegate presidents, presents an insightful view on the Church in Africa. We believe that the Church should still be transformed by God. She should let herself be led to reconciliation by God in order to become a Church that is truly a family. By becoming a familiar Church, she will be able to play a catalyzing role in society and truly become the salt of the earth and the light of the world. For the Archbishop of Dakar, this mission is for the entire church, carried out by all of its members. The bishops and priests as pastors exercise a ministry of communion and reconciliation within the community, and this involves the sacrament of reconciliation. But it is also a ministry of pastoral accompaniment and formation of the faithful. In his report, Cardinal Turkson recalled that the Synod is not a special United Nations session about Africa. The spiritual aspect of the central issues, reconciliation, justice, and peace, was examined at length by the Fathers, along with the subject of the Church's social action. Cardinal Saar also spoke about the importance that the role of the laity and women in Africa had during the discussions. It is through them that the presence of the Church is brought to the societies, and she depends on them to be truly present everywhere in order to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. But for this to happen, they need to be formed and supported. We have spoken a lot about women. They have asked for a greater place within the Church and for specific missions. Some bishops have supported them. I believe that the Synod will take into account how women can offer a greater contribution to the realization of the Synod's theme.